Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I want to share with you guys the Viha Esplar shoes. So these are my first Viha shoes and I want to kind of give you guys a little bit of a first impression and what I think and uh, some of the like myths about these shoes and again like full disclosure and or disclaimer and or disclaimer I may have also gotten the shoes when they've kind of done like a different like update or reconstruction of the shoes so these are just my opinions based off what I've heard and um, what I have experienced with this shoe okay so first off given the design of the S is like I personally like love them I seen them on a TikToker, and when I was like in search of another pair of white shoes in search of like some sort of viha something that would fit my lifestyle and something that I personally would love um I found these and I just fell in love with them ordered them everything then I started kind of getting into like some type of imposter syndrome if you want to say that and I started just overthinking and I was just like oh my god like looking into reviews and people were saying all like things about them and just like they kind of look like bowling shoes and just like I don't know like they were just like not in love with this pair also the toe part of it they were saying that this was just very like hard the overall shoe was just really hard to walk in it took like a lot of like um breaking in uh to get you know them to like start to love this sneaker and just fresh off the box i immediately put it on because another big thing was the size and a lot of people say that this shoe runs big I am normally a eight and a half US and I order I always order a size 39 in Euro shoes and that's what I order with these. Um I also got a little scared because after like when I seen my order confirmation it was saying that they were unisex and so I was just like oh my god like they're definitely gonna be big but when I tried them on they fit perfectly I've been wearing them without a sock around the house but I know once I put a sock on they're gonna be perfect so like without a sock for me they just kind of lift a little bit in the back but I also have the shoes tied like very loosely and not super tight um and then the part about them being like a bowling looking shoe I don't think that at all I immediately tried them on and I fell in love I thought they were gonna be really long I thought they were gonna make my foot look big but they do not at all like I love this like outer edge of them because it gives that illusion that they are more of a platform sneaker which I love platform sneakers but I also wanted something a little bit more low-key and toned down and this is perfect um, I just love how they look they're very simplistic and going into like my first V sneaker I wanted them to be something that I could wear all the time I was looking for another shoe that I could wear to work and I definitely feel like this is something you can dress up or dress down just depending on what you're wearing um, and it's also something that you can just wear so many different ways it's so versatile and I can also see why people or why the brand is making them out to be like a unisex shoe because like I can definitely see Dario my husband wearing these as well with more of like some dress shorts and like a nice button down these just look really really nice and I love them I as you guys know am very into like minimalism now and just like starting to be very conscious with my purchases and I just feel like this is something that I'm gonna get tons of use out of I actually also just did a TikTok video on like multiple ways to style this sneaker which you guys can definitely check me out on my TikTok as well if you guys want to see a video of styling also let me know if you guys want to see a video of me styling these as well I can do a separate video I just want to hop on here and just talk about like the different like myths and the things that I've just experienced with this shoe because I feel like a lot of people have like kind of swayed from Viha because of what has been said and it's definitely probably for sure true but I feel like they've kind of definitely went back and thought about their re um, their construction of the shoe and just like reconstructed it into like a better more like easier to walk in shoe um, I definitely feel like these are on the lower price point there are some Vihas that are like up there in price but I definitely recommend going into the S Blars if you're wanting to get into Vihas if you want to just try out the shoe and just see how it is I definitely recommend these they seem a little bit more low-key I love the black and white and they're just di very different from a typical white sneaker I have white sneakers and I just feel like they all give a different vibe to me and these can ve be very casual 
or very dressy just depending on what you're wearing it with i mean with something like this um like this little swimsuit top some shorts and this like button down i feel like this would just be like more of a casual style of wearing it but I don't know I just love it and I just wanted to hop on and share my like first impressions and this like little fun way because I just feel like I don't know like some people have been swayed against them and I'm obsessed I have not worn them out I have not um, worn them for a long period of time this is just like my initial first impression fresh out the box of how i feel and i just want to share um just in case there is someone else out there that's looking into this shoe wanting it and wanting to see like what it's about um but yeah just had to kind of get into it again this is how they look it's very white around here and then it is like yellowing a little bit at the bottom and then you have the black v and then when you face it back you have the viha logo as well as inside of the shoe here's the bottom of them and this is also like a sustainable shoe so this is like you know not real leather um and i think that's why a lot of people had issues with it just because the way that they were constructing the shoe and um just they were using other materials besides leather and that's the tongue and as you guys can see like it is a little bit on the thinner side people complained about the tongue digging into their foot and them getting blisters specifically around that area um for me just walking around the house it has not dug in um maybe they kind of went with a thinner tongue style i'm not sure thank you guys so much for watching yet another video of mine let me know if you like more of these short easy straight to the point videos because i love them especially if i'm looking to get just like some specific information i feel like this kind of style of video just definitely helps and i definitely just wanted to get the message out there about this amazing brand and i will leave all the information about these shoes as well as their website where i purchased them from and a little bit of like q a down below in the description if you guys just want to kind of look at that as a reference going forward but definitely share this with your friends let them know about this amazing shoe it's amazing and if you're definitely into like minimalistic shoes want to remain sustainable um, or thinking about going into more as of a sustainable style of sneaker i definitely recommend these these are amazing and they're available at several different locations nordstrom madewell so many different places so definitely take a look and this style specifically is just one of the styles that i've noticed has been in stock across the board um another a few of the other popular styles the v10 the campos are the ones that are really hard to get your hands on once they do remain and stop but definitely check these out because they're amazing and they're a perfect starter shoe going into Beehaw.